back to my channel if you are new here my name is Eileen when I did my previous video on my jewelry haul and I featured this cabinet a few of my subscribers were asking about it because a segment of my subscribers came to my channel because of my antique video so this is also a great opportunity for me to talk about chinoiserie and I always feel that the Western world loves chinoiserie more than Asians do. I've always loved chinoiserie because growing up my mom had that magnificent pair of brass jars coated with lacquerware and mother of pearl inlay. She also had a fabulous dining table shipped over from Korea to Borneo because she's Korean. Also, I think the first time when I saw chinoiserie being embraced by a Westerner was in a magazine featuring the late Coco Chanel's apartment. I was totally blown away by the fact that there was this one of the most famous designers in the world surrounding herself in her private apartments with chinoiserie furniture clearly from the rosewood furniture with the mother of pearl inlay to the silk screen in lacquerware and mother of pearl inlay so that image stayed with me all of my life and i promised myself that one day i'm going to be buying lacquerware for my home One of my favorite YouTubers to follow is the Chateau Diaries because she owns this wonderful chateau in France, a very young lady to own such a magnificent palatial surrounding and you would think that they would go to the most expensive and newest shops to decorate her home with but she really really opened up my eyes to the fact that this is the this is why youtube is so wonderful you get to see how people in other parts of the world live how people in other parts of the world appreciate vintage items and antiques she goes to flea markets she goes to vintage and antique shops to scour around and find that really 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 special one of a kind piece to decorate her chateau with now you can see her here in her dining room she's clearly so proud of it and it's truly so magnificent with that rich red wallpaper with the mural on it and as well as the chinoiserie furniture and artifacts in that room to the silk curtains so this is exactly why i always say the western world is more appreciative of chinoiserie than asians are so whenever i see these videos i was thinking where can i get it from here and i found this wonderful wonderful vintage and antique store they've got loads of items imported from europe and from japan
initially was settled on an amois from France but my friend was saying what is the difference between that and the cabinet that you always feature in your video make sure that you are investing in something that is really really going to be a centerpiece so I decided on this and when I did a close-up of this cabinet I had an, another wonderful surprise which I didn't realize in the shop because it was not so well lit I did a close-up of the mantelpiece and I realized that there was the dragon's breath now for those of you who are uninitiated about what the dragon's breath is all about it's actually the highest form of feng shui luck that could come to you because in Chinese culture the dragon is seen to be the most celestial of all the beings and anything to do with him is considered good luck and very very good feng shui for you because in the past the dragon motif is only worn by the emperor not even by the nobility so when you talk about the dragon's breath it's supposed to resemble the fire coming out from his mouth if you talk about dragon's breath it's also present in other culture whether they realize it or not when you see the italian murano glass with the red flags on it that resembles a dragon's breath and when you look at this opal from australia because of the huge community of Asians there I think they are truly aware of this because it's called the dragon's breath opal and it's for obvious reasons because you can see the silhouette of the dragon in the opal as well as the fiery red in the opal it goes without saying for jade it's also present in that red texture in the jade bangles so anytime that you're out and about shopping and if you come across this dragon's breath in the form of any piece of jewelry or furniture or carvings or glassware please please purchase it if you are able to because that means that rush of luck or turnaround of luck is coming towards you now when you look at the furniture, it's got lacquerware but the most outstanding piece definitely is the carvings on the cabinet. If you see the ivory that is etched from the leaves, totally individually etched as well as the pair of peacocks on it with every feather delicately carved to the magnificent plumes, each individual plume etched very very finally with the mother of pearl inlay as well as the branches in a different brown color and the leaves it's truly a magnificent piece of art imagine the hours that went into it and the years of skill that the master craftsman or the artisan has to have to be able to produce this sort of a work and obviously the provenance of this piece of article when I did some research on the internet to determine whether this was Japanese or Chinese, I only found a few pictures and there was only one listing for this sort of a cabinet which was in US dollars $13,000 and it's very very scarce. Obviously because when you see the type of craftsmanship and the talents and the man hours that goes into this a lot of these master craftsmen if they cannot find a protege that they can pass on their talents to sadly that talent dies with them these pieces are getting more and more scarce as time goes by um, you cannot mass produce it it's one of a kind you can just imagine the type of wealthy people who commission this type of a work of art it really really blows your mind that it now belongs to me so I really find that it's so humbling that I have this piece with me it truly elevates your home now if you see the lamp that is behind me it's totally made up of ivory and I think why it just stood there with no takers was because it was covered with dust but that's the beauty of the find when you see the potential in these items and you breathe a new life into it I was so afraid if I were to plug it in my whole house will be blacked out he tested it out and he said you better come and have a look at it because it's working fine brushed every nook and cranny with a toothbrush and I lovingly restored it to its condition now I've also placed my jade disc in the middle of the mantelpiece and if you've missed my jade video on the imperial jade I'm going to be linking it towards the end of the video so be sure to check that out 
and another youtuber that i love to watch is selena from vintage bombshell because she has a victorian home and i think she has such a great eye for statics she finds the most beautiful beautiful pieces in a home and that inspired me to decorate my home and i was wishing so hard that i could find a similar alabaster lamp to the one that she had in the, her bedroom and voila the universe answered my request and i am so thrilled about it now finally the last one on the mantelpiece you can see the venus de milo naked lady statue I really don't like naked ladies even when I had the boutique and if anyone wants to try on a piece of clothing that's on the mannequin I would immediately cover the mannequin with a shawl because I don't want to, to just leave it like that undressed I, but I don't know why when I went back home that evening I just kept thinking about her and I had no choice but to drive back and get her it was so worth it because it's so beautifully sculptured you can see every single etching on her hair you can see the beautiful expression of the lady and the fine lines and the smooth lines of the sculpture because some sculptures you can see is very very crudely done truly truly a beautiful work of art and when i saw chateau diaries do a tour of her home and and lo and behold in the lady of the houses bathroom there was a similar statue of this on the floor of the bathroom so that was very very thrilling for me to watch i think nowadays especially because of the pandemic a lot of us are spending more time at home and a lot of us are working from home because when you go back home you want it to be a safe haven for you but you also want it to be as beautiful as possible so that it can give you inspiration every single day of your life and it makes your heart sing as Keats puts it a thing of beauty is a joy forever if you've enjoyed this video I would appreciate it if you could like share and subscribe to my channel so that I can have the pleasure of your company for my future videos thank you so much for watching till the end and i hope that you got inspired to look at chinoiserie in a different light so this is eileen's lookbook signing off and i'll see you again in my next video